Okay, a little bit of a change in plan. So instead of using the wiring harness from a newer enticer, I've decided to go with the wiring harness and stator from a newer Excel. That way I get the wiring for the starter, uh, electric start built into the harness. So that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm still waiting on that harness. But in the meantime, I figured I can get the existing stator out of here and take a look at a few other things. So. First step is to take the recoil off. Next, the recoil catch or pulley, whatever you want to call it. So next is the flywheel, and that's a 24 millimeter socket for that guy. A couple different ways you can hold the motor. Um, one way is you can stick some rope down the cylinder and that stops the piston from being able to get to the top. So that's what I'm going to do for this, this one. So I just got some paracord stuck down there. And then when I turn this, it should bind up against that rope. And there we go. That comes off. Next up is this flywheel puller. So this will just uh, get bolted to the flywheel through the recoil catch uh, bolt holes. And then the center bolt just gets tightened up and pops it off there. Okay, I got this puller snugged up there. You just wanna be careful when you put in these three bolts because they can go through the flywheel and hit the coils of the stator so just make sure you don't put them in too far and just try and get them an equal distance in so that the flywheel puller is kind of parallel to the plate and then it's just a matter of uh, tightening up this center screw and this should pop off there just like that Now that that puller's off there, we can slide our flywheel out. And now we have access to our stator. So it looks like I might have got lucky with these screws. Might be able to just get them out. There's two big ones for the screwdriver. Yeah. But sometimes in the past I've had to use a hammer driven impact on those guys. And this should just kind of pull out of here. Now there's a rubber grommet over here and I've kind of lubed it up with this silicone spray. I like silicone spray for this rubber parts. I hope that come out of its home a little easier. But I might need a flat bladed screwdriver to help guide it. I'm just going to push on the flanges of that rubber piece with my screwdriver to help guide it into that hole. Looks like this one might be split anyway, so it might not matter much. And there you go. Once you thread your bullet connectors through, that's pretty much all there is to it. And stator's out.